Excuse me. The man himself, I presume. Just as handsome as in his portrait. As to walks, it is ten miles to circumscribe the entire park. I think we should better confine ourselves to the accustomed circuit. It provides a waterfall and a glen and a lake and a stream. A stream with trout. Uh, or perhaps you're fatigued. I am not a very great walker, Mr. Gardner. But a lake and a trout stream? <laughs> what do you say, Elizabeth? It shall be as you wish. Ah, uh, will you lead on? should even speak to me is amazing. And to speak with such civility, to inquire about my family. He has never spoken with such gentleness. Oh, the perverseness of such a meeting. What must he think of me? Perhaps in defiance of everything I am still dear to him? Oh, at this very minute, what is passing through his mind? Where is he? Darcy is following us. Oh. It is such a beautiful place, Mr. Darcy. Delightful, charming. Would you do me the honour of introducing me to your friends? Mrs. Gardner, Mr. Gardner, Mr. Darcy. My uncle and aunt from Gracechurch Street. Delighted to make your acquaintance, madam. Delighted, sir. While you continue in the neighbourhood, Mr. Gardner, you must come and fish in my trout stream. I shall be happy to provide you with rods and tackle, show you the best spots. again, sir, how very unexpected your arrival was. The housekeeper assured us you would not be here until tomorrow. I beg you do not make yourself uneasy. I had planned it so myself, but I found I had business with my steward and so rode on ahead of the rest of the party without informing anyone. They will join me tomorrow. And among them are those who claim an acquaintance with you. It's Mr. Bingley and his sisters. There's the other person in the party who more particularly wishes to know you. Would you allow me to... <clears throat> Do I ask too much to introduce my sister to you during your stay at Lambton? I should be very happy to make her acquaintance. Thank you. We shall meet again very soon. Good day, Mr. Gardner. Mrs. Gardner. Good day, Miss Bennett. He is perfectly well behaved, polite, unassuming, 
There is something stately in him, to be sure, but it is confined to his air and is not unbecoming. How came you, Elizabeth, to tell us he was so disagreeable? I've never seen him as pleasant as now. Ah, then perhaps he is a little whimsical in his civilities. Your great men often are. I shall not take him at his word about the fishing, because he might change his mind another day and warn me off his grounds. I cannot believe that Mr. Darcy would behave in a cruel way to anyone. Aunt, it is true that Mr. Darcy's character is not so faulty, or Mr. Wickham so amiable as appeared to me and many in Hertfordshire. Indeed, I have reason to believe that Mr. Wickham behaved very badly towards Mr. Darcy.